Hello. Well, uh, today is my birthday, and uh, I thought because it's my birthday I should talk about uh, something I really enjoy, um, which is Star Wars, but particularly uh, one reason I want to talk about uh, Star Wars is because today, on my birthday, is the 20th anniversary of Star Wars Episode Two: Attack of the Clones. Um, saw this when I was eight years old. Uh, got out of school early to see it. And uh, I really enjoyed it. Um, uh, all of the prequels actually came out on my birthday to some extent uh, when I was five. Phantom Menace came out and I saw it three days early on my birthday. brother uh, took me to see it. He got tickets for this sort of like a special screening. And then uh, I saw it again three days later. I saw Attack of the Clones a couple times in theaters also. Um, but I got out of school early to see it. And uh, also I uh, saw Revenge of the Sith three years later. Uh, getting out of school also and on my birthday even though it didn't come out in America like sort of like some sort of special uh, advanced release of any sort to the general public um, it had its New York premiere on my birthday and was also on the Can Can Film Festival on my birthday For, uh, out of competition it had like a a premiere there on my birthday um, so that's interesting I think for me uh, realizing all this stuff like how on my birthday there's some sort of premieres of sorts for the last film and this came out just overall on my birthday and uh, also uh, the Phantom Menace came out on my birthday too um, you know, May, I always associate with Star Wars. I'm sure I've said that before. Um, but also, not only is that a big milestone for this film, but also for the original film, you know, um, Episode 4, New Hope, titled Star Wars originally, is 45 years old this year, so that's quite a milestone. Um... Blu-ray with uh, six films in it, and uh, yeah, th these movies. I obviously I expressed how much I love them. Um, the, uh, I will always have a, a place in my heart for the prequels. Um, granted, I was kid when I saw when those films were coming out and I saw them but still um, I uh, I just really uh, I just really love the story and how it expanded the original trilogy you know um, expanded the story in the universe um, that this film began with it all began with this film and uh, you know the, throughout the original trilogy we saw um, uh, that story with Luke and then we saw the story with Anakin in the prequels and while many people do critique uh, Attack of the Clones for the dialogue and such you know in space opera you know it's a lot of melodrama and theatricality going on so that sh should be expected and yet I guess because it's Star Wars I guess it's held up to a different standard of some sort um, which is always interesting I think um, but these uh, you know um, these films uh, are really incredible from beginning to end it's just 
truly uh, fantastic film. These or films, I should say. Um, you know, the love story. You know, eh. I've t I've talked about these films individually, obviously. So I kind of address some of that stuff there, which I can probably link in the video. But you know, um, I think for some people, it's like they don't totally understand or completely get the sort of genre that it's very much in, you know. Uh, and also how George Lucas really enjoyed the 1930s style of acting and wanted his actors and actresses to, you know, reflect that, you know, reflect this uh, time that, you know, was sort of coming off of the silent era and entering the sound era, so... Some of the acting was a bit much, um, and also some people weren't able to continue acting because they just didn't have a very good voice. Um, but, you know, with these films, um, you know, it seems like uh, George Lucas really took the space opera stuff uh, fairly literal and created a saga that is... Um, beloved today just as much as it uh, uh, was when it initially started 45 years ago and um, continues today. Um, uh, these are movies obviously I've loved, I've talked about so much and um, I don't know, I don't know when I will ever shut up about them, I, probably never, um, but you know these movies are uh, really fantastic, and it's, uh, really interesting to look back, uh, 20 years since the Attack of the Clones, and now, just seeing that for the first time, it was just incredible, you know, um, you know, I loved it, just as I loved the pre, uh, the other two prequels, um, and also, you know, how A New Hope was really, like, the first film I really ever saw, or at least I can recall seeing, you know, I was really young, well, like one of the first memories I have is taking a VHS uh, t tape of the original film, probably like 95 or 96 or something, I was probably like one or so, because maybe we'll remember that uh, place I used to, <laughs> at least to live in um, uh, way back when, uh, and uh, Just putting it into the VCR, because I saw people do this, you put this thing in there, and then these images and sounds uh, happen, and I think that's probably what really interested me at, at a very young age, is like just the visuals and the sounds, um, but, you know, um, of course, getting older, I realized just how much I, you know, really loved the characters and the story and everything um and it's continued to be that way for me um this film is my favorite film of all time um i've loved it ever since i saw it for the first time all those years ago still love it now um Just, uh, yeah. So much has been said about this film. I've said a lot about it. And, um, yeah, I'll probably uh, just put my overall, uh, my video that I've made some years ago about it. Just so I can just, uh, because, you know, I'd just be regurgitating the same stuff. Um, and there's only so much one can really do with that. Um, I do have a thing where uh, on my birthday I always make sure to watch this movie uh, every year on my birthday um, so I'm definitely going to do that uh, today and uh, I don't know maybe I'll probably have a uh, watch this also but uh, yeah I 
really love these films. I've always loved them, and I always will. Not much more I can really say, honestly. Um, but, yeah, I love them. They're great. I think they're some of the best films ever made. And um, that's really it. Um, leave me your thoughts. What do you think of these movies? Um, do you just like the original Star Wars between these two? Or do you like both, Attack of the Clones and A New Hope? Um, do you prefer one over the other? Or do you see them both fairly equal? Um, I know some people do see these movies fairly equal, and it's hard to just pick one um, as your preferred favorite. Um, that was hard for me until, apparently, I just looked at them all and also just thinking, like, which, which one would I really just like to watch over and over? Um, just, just, you know, just uh, at any point in time, like, I have free time I can watch for something for, like, two hours, if it's like Star Wars, which one would I want to watch? And uh, the original is the one that I pretty much always, um, you know, I've always had that conclusion. I always really think this is the best of them all. I think that's the best one that's been made. And, uh, yeah, I don't think it really ever got better, personally. Uh, but I know there's many who like The Empire Strikes Back more or Return of the Jedi, um, which is actually in the uh, National Film Registry now, so the entire original Star Wars trilogy is in the National Film Registry. It's, that trilogy is seen um, as important. And I believe it's actually the uh, first complete trilogy. Um, I believe. I, I could be wrong, but... You know, uh, there's various other entries of films that are part of trilogies here and there, but not maybe like it has two or just one, you know, not all three, right? And so, you know, the original trilogy is in the National Film Registry. Maybe the prequel trilogy will be in there someday. Um, as time goes on, I see people re-look at, you know, this as well as The Phantom Menace and Attack of the Clones. Um and are more positive they see um, more of the uh, positive attributes that they have and they aren't just disliking it for whatever reason um, be it you know there's legit criticisms sure um, but some seem to just dislike it because it's the prequels and so that's the cool thing to do and that's really it because um, their arguments aren't all that um you know, very good, just sort of regurgitating what you've heard here and there, and it's kind of like, I've heard this all, and it's no more interesting now than the first time. Um, sometimes they're just nitpicks, but f framed in such a way where perhaps the first time you hear these uh, criticisms, you don't really think of them as just being nitpicks, but, uh, you know, sometimes if you just listen and hear and see what people are talking about, you'll see, you know, are these real legit complaints or are there perhaps people just uh, nitpicking things? And that happens here and there with films uh, of, you know, all kinds, not just like Star Wars, but any kind of movie, really. Um, but yeah, these, uh, these movies are really great. Um, talked about them so much over the years and yeah there's not too much to say um, but I'm glad that the uh, prequels seem to be getting more love over the years that's great sometimes uh, it takes time for something to be um, be more enjoyed you know be it a cult following or be it something that may be ahead of its time or just was perhaps just good in general but people just didn't perceive it as good at the time for whatever reason everyone has their reasons for liking and disliking things sometimes as time goes on people like stuff more sometimes people dislike things more like uh, in a 
initially something might have been really good at the time, but then, you know, might not age well. So that could be a thing. You know, that could be a factor into people's uh, viewing of the, the prequels. Um, but whichever films you uh, prefer, be it the original trilogy, the prequel trilogy, or um, if you enjoy them, like, whatever. You know, whatever trilogy you really enjoy. Um, fantastic. Um, I'm going to uh, just enjoy the films that I, you know, I'm gonna just enjoy, I'm gonna enjoy the films that I really like um, and watch them today. Um, that's what I'm gonna do. I hope uh, all of you are doing well. Hope all of you are having a great day. Hope you had a great weekend and will have a great week and are having a, the beginning of a great week. And I'll see you all next time.